How you doing? Pizza oven, right? Stick with me, stick through the video, and let's see if this works, because if it works, it's a really easy way to make a brick pizza oven without building a giant pizza oven, right? Kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through this. I gotta walk myself through it. I've been thinking about this, and I'm really excited. So I've got some really popular uh, pizza oven videos, a dry fit pizza oven. I'll link to it at the end of the show if you haven't watched that one already. And it's been in my mind, can we make a simple version a different way? I mean, it, it's just stuff I think about in the car or, you know, you see this and you're like, light bulb moment. Well, light bulb moment here. Let me walk you through it. Rebar and clay brick. Now you can, yeah, you're gonna yell at me about using fire brick versus clay brick. We'll talk about that later in the video. I've had very good success with clay brick. You wanna use fire brick, go ahead. So this rebar, maybe the bottom quarter, bottom third of the barrel here. And for every brick, there are two pieces of rebar going through the barrel. So across here will be the floor of the pizza oven. And then the top, because it's important to have brick in the top because it, first of all, absorbs heat from the wood fire and then radiates it back down to your pizza, will go across here, right? and that'll be held up, the rebar will be underneath. It'll form like a grid of rebar, and this will be across the top here. So where is the sweet spot here that we can have three and a half inch wide brick and not have, in other words, it can be four of them, or it could be, yeah, probably four or five of them. I guess we gotta use math. Here we go. So 14, that's too low. Um, but 17 and a half is there. So the bricks would be here. I think that, what do you think? So they'll be across like that. I like that noise that makes. All right, so I'm in there. My other goal with this video, oh wow, that's a weird sound. My other goal was to make something that we didn't have to weld because not everyone has a welder. I have a welder I really like. I'm kind of, I owe you guys a couple welding videos. I'm sorry. I'll do that. But I think just drilling some holes, we can make this, all right? This is 24 inch, half inch rebar. Really cheap at your home improvement store. So the idea is I'm gonna drill holes and slide this, sorry, slide this through so it'll basically sit like that. This table hasn't been, properly trademarked here, so. There we go, I feel better now. See this at a yard sale? Buy it, okay? Five inch. Two sources of inspiration for this video. One is Sandra and Tim of the Way Out West Blowing blog. And then Laura Kampf, who built a really nice one with fire brick, and it just, it looks really awesome. Eye and ear protection, okay? I'm gonna talk louder because I can't hear myself. This is a step drill bit. It has various diameters. I love these. These make drilling into metal really easily. I'm gonna use a corded drill for this. We're gonna use um, a center point punch to set up. Well, basically, you're gonna put a little dimple into the metal, and when you drill, that way the drill doesn't go all over the place, it just goes through, okay? So now I wanna go at an angle, because we're gonna, we're not going, the rod isn't going straight across, the rebar is going, so, uh, kind of at an angle. It'll make sense later. But see how fast it just steps in once you get in there? All right, a little bit bigger. There we go. That'll work. So 
So then the bricks will sit across like that. So up here, I've got to have a rod and then the brick on top of the rod. And I got to figure out how to measure. The, oh, I could, I'll just have to do some measuring. I just don't want this to be uh, crooked. I mean, a little crooked's okay. Nothing's perfect, especially garden fork. But, um, all right, so we're halfway through. We're, we're pizza, I bought pizza dough. Right there. Well, that's pretty good. I'm always amazed when it kind of works. But I'm, ex I'm in, I don't know, I'm excited. I've been thinking about this for a while, so. Um, who knows, you have to use a level to make pizza. Okay, I think, I think I made a mistake and that's not unusual with garden forks. So I drilled one set of holes for the upper and then I was like, wait a minute. I, I, I cloned this measurement. So essentially I built a rack such that the brick would be below the rebar, not above. So this space is not enough for five bricks. It's okay for four, but there'd be a lot of gaps. And I'm like, is that okay? I got an idea. Oh wow, I got an idea, hold on. This line I put in here, I need to be one brick height below that. Hello. That's still kind of mark. So this has to be basically like that. And bricks are two and a quarter inches high, I guess. And you know what also is two and a quarter inches high? Wait for it. My level. So, um, I am not a master at measuring as we know, but I know if this is two and a quarter and that's two and a quarter, I'm gonna line up my old marks two and a quarter inches below and make new marks. Might have to go have dinner too, a glass of wine. Okay, so these are the wrong holes. And I could probably just leave them there, but I want to cover them up and there's a couple ways to do that but I thought the easiest way is to just um, I've got some thin gauge metal here and just cover them well cover them like that come on just sit there Nice. All right, second time's a charm, right? I mean, I kind of like the little things on there. It makes it look, uh, what's that, steampunk. It's a steampunk pizza oven now. If they were brass, maybe they should be brass. All right, I can't hear myself when I have these on. Assembly time, right? So we need some of these. I think I need about 80 of them, 40 on the top, 40 on the bottom. And um, I happen to have a collection of them. You wanna see? Metal saw horses, okay? Don't use your cheapy ones from that store that store that's a slippery slope when you walk in there. These are good for like painting wood and stuff, but for pizza ovens, metal ones, okay? All right, so um, I just gotta stick my head in here and do this. So. Okay, so this is five bricks across. Ideally, this would be snug to the wall, um, but 
It doesn't look like that's gonna be. I'd like it all the way to the wall, but you know, my measuring is what it is. How cool is that? I've been thinking about this for way too long. I mean, I keep on telling you all to just go out and start doing stuff, you know, just start essentially. I got a t-shirt like that, by the way. Um, and I've been thinking about this for too long and it's not gonna be perfect. I mean, Garden Fork's not perfect. Life isn't perfect. Maybe, can you help me with the, in the comments, please? I mean, you're already thinking about things we could do better, right? So how do I calculate to get the maximum? I need some more space here, and these bricks could go a little lower, and those could be a little higher. But measuring and math elude me. on a pallet made almost completely of oak. It's perfect for the pizza oven. Okay, that's hot. Um, I'm keeping the fire up front for right now. I just want to heat up all that brick. I also want to see what's going to happen to that rebar. Were you thinking about that? So was I. And then I'm going to push this to the back and put in our pizza. I, you know, I don't know, I love doing this kind of thing. I love fire, I love cooking, and I love just taking some stuff and see if we can make something, you know? This is great. That's really hot. Clay, wow, that thing's banging. Clay brick versus fire brick. My big mantra, one of my big ones, is use what you got. Clay brick is basically clay. It's made for building homes. Yet it's not for fireplaces. That's what fire brick is for. It's almost pizza time. But um, it can stand up to some heat. Fire brick is made such that it stands up to a lot of heat for a long time. The difference here is that I've built my pizza ovens out of clay brick and what happens over time, the brick cracks from the heat. It doesn't explode on me, it cracks and then I'm like, oh, I need some more brick and I got a big pile of it. But yeah, this costs money and if you've got this laying around, wait for it. Okay. How cool is that? Look at the dough cooking already. Can you see the back there? It's 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 puffing nicely. The sides puffing nicely. That is fantastic. Oh, who is this? She's got something to add to the fire. Uh, have you met the star of the show? <laughs> um, she really likes him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you, her and Charlie Pup passed away a little while ago and our neighbors were breeding their Labrador Cabot and this is Andy. Andy will be in all future shows to charm all of us. <laughs> The pizza might be burning right now, but I'm holding a puppy, so. Oh, puppy wins. Puppy over pizza. Yeah. All right, a little burn. All right, more pizza oven videos are right here. I've built a couple other versions. If you have some ideas about how to improve this, I'm gonna make more of these barrel ovens. Right now, this is lunch for me. I've been thinking about this for hours and days and weeks. So why don't we spend some more time together? Pizza videos right there. How cool.